morning, everybody. Garrett Anderson here, Marketing Director for Contract Furnishings. Mara, welcome back to our Wednesday webinar series. Today we're talking commercial products, and uh, obviously there's commercial carpet, commercial LVT. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of those things. Brought in my good friend, Joe Juner. We tucked ourselves back in a separate room off our showroom so that you could see his pretty face without a mask. So we'll stay apart. I hope everybody, again, is out there staying uh, well and staying safe. So let's, uh, let's start with commercial carpet, because that's still, you mentioned, the, your bread and butter. That's what we're seeing most. Yeah, absolutely. So commercial carpet, whether it be broadly or carpet tile, is really designed to enhance or accentuate your space while still being durable enough to meet your business needs, um, whether that be foot traffic or um, you know, traffic patterns, things like that. Commercial broadloom and commercial carpet tile are going to be your best options um, to bring a little bit of a design element into your, your showroom or, or commercial space. So what would make any of these a commercial carpet versus a residential? Because I know a lot of these can look the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the manufacturing process for broadloom is, is similar uh, to what it would be for residential, uh, but we're going to be dealing with tighter pile heights. Um, fiber density is going to generally be higher and our backings uh, are gonna include a little bit more latex so that they can stand up to the wear and tear of a, a commercial application. Right, because really that backing is what is keeping that the fiber and everything performing the way it's supposed to, right? Once that starts to break down, then you get fibers loose and it starts to really wear, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, so with these uh, backings, um, we have them in, in varying degrees, um, increasing in performance over time. Um, some of them will include warranties for edge ravel, uh, sorry, edge ravel, zippering, delamination, um, and those are all going to be suited to higher traffic or heavy commercial applications. Okay. Now, speaking of backing, if you really want a beefy backing, you're going to get that with these carpet tiles, right? And that's been a, a growing trend for yeah, a number of years, right? Yeah. So carpet tile um, is going to be incredibly durable. Uh, but the main benefits with carpet tile is that over time, as you see traffic patterns or as you stain and soil tiles, you can go ahead and pop that tile up, replace it with uh, a new tile out of your attic stock or uh, from a reorder, and it's actually going to give you about 50% more longevity out of your carpet tile installation uh, that you would maybe see with broadloom. And I know that's something it, you'll see in basically all of our showrooms now is the carpet tiles for that reason. We're going to have some specific high traffic areas where we can pop up a damaged one and we covered up a, a couple stained ones down here, so don't look at those too closely. <laughs> uh, but it, to have that flexibility where you can take out a damaged piece instead of replacing an entire room or in a, in a showroom or a, or a large open space, you know, huge areas, and then seeing die lots and that kind of stuff change. Right, so your, your cost savings over time is, is dramatic, um, not to mention that you're not tearing up your showroom or your retail space. Um, to, to replace the whole field, right? right? You can do spots incrementally as needed. So uh, longer, more durable product and uh, less invasive uh, on the installation. Now the backing used to make these very expensive, mm -hmm. but there are more cost-effective options out there now, right? I know you mentioned this one. Yeah. This one of your proprietary ones that's newer. Well, so there's been uh, a number of innovations in carpet tile over the last few years. Um, one, we've moved to a polyolefin backing that we call Matrix. Um, so this is going to be a lighter weight backing um, that's considerably more environmentally friendly. Uh, it also has some installation benefits. Um, you can install it over old adhesive without it reacting poorly. Um, you can install it in high moisture situations using our flex lock tabs. And then we've also done some things to the face fiber. So carpet tile was traditionally uh, always a nylon product and we've actually seen the introduction of polyester in there as well. And so what that's done is it, it's given us the ability to reduce the, the overall cost of carpet tile and make it something that's affordable in all commercial applications, uh, entry level to high end. Yeah, we talked about fibers a little bit a few weeks ago. Polyester generally is less expensive uh, fiber to make and it's inherently stain resistant. So mm -hmm. you're gonna get some really good performance there. What it generally lacks is that, uh, that memory that you see in your nylon to keep springing back. Like right, that. right, absolutely. And with carpet tile, the, the pile is so low um, that you're not going to see it walk out or traffic out quite as quickly. Um, you might have to replace those tiles a little bit more frequently, but overall you're still getting the carpet tile benefit uh, in terms of maintenance and, and everything else. So great solution uh, at all price points. And you mentioned um, you know, the, the what was it? flex locks. 
Yes. yes. Flex lock tabs. Flex lock tabs. Uh, generally, you're looking at a pressure sensitive adhesive to install a carpet tile. Mm -hmm. uh, something Correct. that you would roll out, trowel on, let it tack up a little bit so that it's not a permanent adherence. Uh, you could still you know, peel these up uh, with a little bit of pressure to pull these off and then honestly most of the time put a new one down. But with these you have options to just make this a floating floor. Correct. Um, so you're actually going to adhere these tabs in all four corners of the tile. Um, and what it's going to do is create a floating installation across the field. Uh, the benefits there are that you can install it in high moisture settings and, and uh, certain applications there. But also, if you're doing a tenant improvement project, right? Maybe you're only going to be in a setting for three to four years, and you don't want to do any damage to the subfloor with adhesive. This is a great solution that's non-permanent, um, and it's pretty easy to do as well. Right. Yeah. There's another one that Shaw offers called Lock, Lock Dots, dots. If you're familiar yep, with as well. Absolutely. Uh, kind of a little gun, little sticky dots that you just tack on the back, yep. and then throw those right down. Yeah. So really keeping it not, not so much of a, like a permanent installation with a bunch of adhesive you have to scrape up down the road. Yep, absolutely. Very cool. So another cool thing uh, about this is that mergeable die lot, right? Tell us about, right. a little bit about that because I was unfamiliar with it until today. So typically if you're doing a carpet tile installation, you want to order the whole lot um, all in one inventory run. And that's to avoid any color changes or, uh, or anything like that as you're putting the installation in. Um, where we run into issues is if you're doing maybe a three or a four part installation and you want everything to feel cohesive moving forward, typically you would have had to order that all in one run. With mergeable die lots, we're actually shifting the color uh, in the carpet tile every 12 to 18 inches. Right. So you, so you see can see this. here, there's an 18 inch band and then 12 inch band moving forward. Um, and what that's gonna give you is a color change every 18 inches. And so when you put it on a quarter turn, you'll never see those same colors um, touching again. And so um, you can do multi-phase installations. Um, if you happen to run out of attic stock to replace those tiles, you can go ahead and order new ones direct from Mohawk uh, or any other manufacturer that does mergeable die lots and drop those right into your installation. That's cool. Uh, another trend is, um, obviously we see some different shapes, but well, since we're talking about colors, mm -hmm. some of those like color pops, yeah, uh, or just kind of blending, not necessarily different styles or different lines, but even within this one line, you have uh, these blended colors where you have one tile that's exclusively this color that ties into what you have in the, in the, the normal design. So this trend is, has been really popular um, in trying to inc uh, incorporate business colors, school colors, things like that. Um, we have several styles that have what we call a, a color pop or candy pop yarn. And then you can do full tiles, as Garrett mentioned, um, you know, and maybe two to five percent on the installation to really give it some, some zip or some zest. Right. Well, you mentioned even like an elementary school where you have like uh, your color corners. So mm -hmm. you kind of get these kids going to, uh, yep. you know, yep, absolutely. time out over here, nap time over here, whatever it may be. <laughs> sort those kids. Um, so that, yeah, that is really cool. And I've, I've noticed, like you mentioned with, like school colors or uh, company colors. Mm -hmm. Our Gresham store has the new edition that we're, uh, we're just finishing up right now, which is really cool. And we've incorporated some CFM blue into that flooring. So check it out sometime. Uh, let's also talk about the, the different shapes. So traditionally we have the 24 by 24, yep. still very, very popular, but now we also have more of these longer plank styles, right? Yep. And so the, the planks are fun because you can uh, really play with the installation method. Um, here we see a, a bit of a herringbone, um, and you can see these planks set apart there. Um, you can also encapsulate a 24 by 24 tile to make it a 48 by 48. Right. Um, that would basically... Talking about just wrapping this all around. Yep, and that's going to just increase the impact of your, your setting there. Um, kind of gives you actually a little bit of a pinwheel effect. So planks are a great way to create design interest, um, especially in large rooms, mm -hmm. um, where you can really see that full scale pattern uh, emerge. Right. So price points on planks, uh, we have them all the way in, in price point, entry level categories, all the way up to our high end design styles. And um, some of these are getting pretty big. Yeah. I mean, more so than just the 12 by 36 here, I've seen them, you know, four or five feet yep. long and Absolutely. a couple feet wide too. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, again, it's, it's nice to see that there's more options being incorporated, more design elements that mm -hmm. you can instead of just a you know, kind of solid tone, boring broadloom that right. you throw out there. Well, and 
you know, the, the business setting is, is always going to be a reflection of your company. Mm -hmm. um, and so by putting some, some investment into your floor covering, um, you can A, kind of reflect the, the atmosphere, the ambiance that you want from your, your company or your place of business. Um, and B, it, it really is going to show um, some, some pride in your, your ownership there. So um, have some fun with it. Come into CFM. Take a look at all of the products that they have. Um, everyone here is, has been trained on, on Aladdin Commercial and, and can help you out on finding that solution that's going to be right for, for you. And we talk a lot about the broad loom and the carpet tiles and these softer fibers, but there's still a trend going towards, like we see a lot in residential with hard surface, uh, to see more LVT, laminates, uh, or even sheet vinyls putting in there. But you'd still say that most of your business is in the soft stuff because you get the acoustic benefits, a little softer, yep. uh, not as harsh of a kind of a business environment, right? Exactly. Yeah, the, the carpet tile and, and broadloom are, are definitely going to help with acoustics. Um, the installation is a slam dunk. Mm -hmm. um, and for general office settings, it, it's just a little bit warmer feeling. Um, that being said, we still do uh, quite a bit of LVT in commercial settings. Um, back in the day, it used to be VCT, right? That's probably what your your elementary school gym had in it, those tw 12 by 12 uh -huh. vinyl composite tiles. The old grocery store had it, yep, yeah. Yep, exactly. Um, we've moved almost entirely off of that. Uh, at this point, we either do um, commercial grade sheet vinyl, which we do in a lot of like medical type settings and things like that, just from a, a cleanliness or a sterile, sterile standpoint. Uh, everything else has gone to glue down or click luxury vinyl tile. Um, so what we're looking at here is some samples out of our collection footpath. Um, these styles are going to be available in either click or glue down products. Um, click is going to be great for that low traffic, low impact setting, uh, maybe an office space or something like that. Um, very, very easy to install. Look, I just did it. <laughs> Even Gary can Even do it. I can do it. Uh, however, majority of what we see is glue down. And the reason being is it's um, super easy to clean. You don't have to worry about any locking systems um, and for rolling loads. So anywhere where you would maybe have a heavy cart, a wheelchair, things like that, that glue down application is just gonna stay stuck to the floor without right. having any issues. Yeah, that's a good point because you're getting the same visual either way. You're just mm -hmm. having this locking mechanism or just a cut straight edge. Yep, exactly. And so you know, when you do have those, those heavy point loads, you can start to really break that down and then it starts to you know, not perform as well, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Interesting. And you mentioned uh, some sheet vinyl as well. Uh, we have a couple options back here. Again, it, not as widely popular, but we mm -hmm. do still see it more in some uh, like hospital medical type settings. Hospital medical right. setting, maybe a break room, break kitchen, something like that, where they just want to do a quick, easy install. Right. Commercial sheet's a great solution for that. So tons of options in here from, you know, these are all wood looks. Uh, you have some tile visuals as well. Uh, even some of those just more kind of basic color lines. Uh, this is a popular one from Armstrong, Connection Corlon. Uh, again, these are all just beefier wear layers than you'll see in a residential, so it can handle that wear and tear. Uh, and then sometimes you're talking about the point loads and just the general construction or insulation of it, right? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So like with the sheet vinyl, you're not going to be doing like the loose lay in general. It's usually no, that's spread. something that we'd maybe see on a residential application. Okay. Um, at this point, for a commercial setting, you, you probably want to do a full spread. Gotcha. A times. Oh, also, uh, we're going to talk about this next week, but Forbo Marmoleum, very popular in commercial settings too as a sheet vinyl. This stuff is natural, super durable, uh, and has just the widest range of colors. So we'll explore that a little bit more next week. Um, we did kind of glance over this. With Broadloom and, and carpet, mm -hmm. you can still put a pad underneath it. Um, obviously, we're not going to on carpet tiles, right. uh, but with the padding, what are the benefits you get with that? Well, pads can act as the, the backbone, right, or the support for your Broadloom cushion. So in hallways or high traffic areas like stairs, mm -hmm. it's a great solution to make your installation last longer um, and look newer longer. So um, you're just going to stretch it in over the top, and it, it installs actually very much just like a residential broadloom. Right. The, the, the difference is you're not going to use a residential carpet pad. This one is specifically designed right. as a, a kind of a denser, lower pile, yep. higher density uh, option. It's not going to be as cushy, but you don't want it to be cushy because that's right. going to start breaking down the backing of the yep. carpet. Um, high density felt is, is what you're looking for. Um, CFM has it here mm -hmm. in stock, I believe. Yep. Awesome. Um, in terms of installation, whether it be uh, LVT, 
carpet tile or broad loom, um, you're going to want to start with a nice uh, clean prep surface. Keep it level, keep it smooth, uh, scrape up any old adhesive and seal any potential moisture issues. Um, that's going to make for the best installation and uh, keep you guys happy in, yeah. in the long run. And then from a maintenance standpoint, just like at home, you know, make sure you're, you're vacuuming regularly. Uh, hot water extract uh, probably every six to 12 months in a commercial application. And on your hard surface, um, you know, just use your, your topical cleaners and make sure you're keeping that surface nice and, and clean. Nice. All right. Well, I think we just about covered it. There's some great options. Appreciate, Joe, you taking the time yeah, and showing us the Mohawk, just talking in general. If you have any questions, of course, follow up with any of our stores and ask those questions. Really, really cool styles uh, and some great technology out there that can make anything from your light commercial to your heavy commercial really perform and look the way you want it to also. So uh, I'm going to let you go get back to work. I'll cut you guys loose. Be sure to tune in next week when we do talk about more Molium uh, with Seth from Porbo. And soon we'll take a look at our Gresham store and get you a full sneak peek of that. So thank you guys. Be well. And we'll look forward to seeing you soon.